Good evening. 2020 marks the 10-year anniversary that the Mercyhurst football team not only went 10-3 and three overall, but captured its first ever PSAC championship and a berth to the national tournament. Following a 4-7 and seven season in 2009, Mercyhurst began 2010 having won three of its first four games of the season. But on the first Saturday in October, the Lakers suffered a tough 14-10 to 10 loss at Gannon. We were tired of losing. We, we never wanted to happen ever again. And I think that's what helped that run. Um, you know, after Custown or Gannon, I think that's what definitely helped the turnaround. That run would start with a one-point victory at IUP. The following week, the Lakers trailed Edinburgh late, but managed to force overtime. Then, in the first overtime session, the Lakers made a bold decision. I honestly did ask the coaches what they thought. Uh, they all thought it was a good idea to go for one. I told the team we're going for two. And I remember Trevor being wide open. I just remember seeing him wide open. And he's not always wide open in practice because we're going against our, our own defense. But you, know, you see him wide open, like your eyes light up as a quarterback. He's trying not to short arm it. At that point, it, there was really no turning back. And the jubilation that I think everyone saw after the play was made was what you saw that moment forward with all the, the rest of the games in the season because it was a level of confidence stepping on the field. There's a little bit of swagger. With that confidence, the 5-2 and two Lakers hosted number three ranked California. The Vulcans were simply outmatched, and Mercyhurst pulled off another upset by winning 31-21. to 21. To just be able to go out there and, and make plays and not, not worry about it and know that, that the teammates around you, somebody's going to make a play out there, uh, it's really special. It, it, you want to say it happens every year. You want to say you have that confidence every year, but that's just not the case, and, and we definitely had it that year. I don't think we were intimidated really any, any game the rest of the season. Um, I think that we just had confidence in each other and um, exactly, exactly what we had to do every game. We had faith in the coaching staff to go out there and execute, and um, most importantly, faith in each other to get the job done. Mercyhurst would close out the regular season on a five-game winning streak and represented the West in the PSAC championship game versus Bloomsburg. The Lakers' high-potent offense outscored the Huskies 56-37 and captured its first-ever PSAC championship. They all individually overcame some adversity during their time at Mercyhurst, not to mention before that. And I'm not going to get into it, but I know, I know all five of them because I, I can go right through it, you know. And, um, you know, and, and then they just, they taught me so much that I just keep trying to teach it to our guys. Mercyhurst's postseason run would end in the Division II National Quarterfinals to Shepard. However, the historic success in the 2010 season for the Lakers meant so much more years later. Coach Chessel would always tell us, like, hey, you only have four or maybe five years here. Um, every practice matters. Every game matters. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Can't, you know, can't shut that enough. Not only just physically, but emotionally, mentally, and academics, all that, how that all fits in. Coach Schetzel put goals in front of us, and we had to work towards those goals and hold each other accountable for those goals. I'm more than 10 years in remission now from cancer, so um, Mercy Years has been a huge part of my life, and I want to thank all you guys for being a part of it. That year was so much fun, uh, and the moments of clarity that we had as a team and, and the fun that we had was, was just outstanding, and I, I wouldn't give it up for anything.